This is the servo motor I was testing recently on my channel. The timing pulley with a slightly smaller hole and no key. And I still have no key slotting machine, but hopefully it is going to change soon. Pulley ready on the shaft, let's try to mount the motor on the frame. There is the spindle I've prepared in my past videos. This is a tensioner pulley. It's a pulley with no teeth but with a bearing inside. I've prepared some steel flat bars for the motor adapter. The servo motor mount was designed in ZW3D. I designed two belt tensioners, one of them just in case. A quick look at the part. And now a quick drawing of it. Most of the operations will be made manually. some stock for the tensioner. Now let's start the fun part. I mill the pieces to size but in different ways. 
the first one with a smaller carbide end mill. and the second one with a bigger high-speed steel end mill. I think I like the tool more on my machine. Now the mounting plate. Dialing in with the stock and it's ready to proceed with the features. Using the 3D cam module I prepared a toolpath for my CNC mill to do the motor flange bore. Here I switched from climb to conventional milling as I prefer it on my machine. Before solid verifying I prepared the stock material and did the simulation. The toolpath looks ok and we are ready to go. Dame, I like the cool colors on the new tabs. I'm waiting for a green one. Still prepared for starting the first arc today. Not great, but it should hold. The holes in the frame to be made. A quick assembly of the belt tensioner.
and the mount to the server. The motors got the brake, it might be easier to install it when it's turned off. Motors mounted. Belts tensioned. And the spindle wants to spin. More progress coming soon. Thanks for watching. If you don't want to miss future progress on this build, make sure to subscribe to this channel. See you next time.